for us. So, all right, welcome, welcome. How are y'all doing today? Hey guys, hey, great. thank you. Good. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we're so, having. Uh, we've had an airplane fly over. The roosters <laughs> roosting. We've had frogs going off in a truck, but I'm hoping it would be quiet. So. <laughs> Live They're action going, going on. That's great. That's perfect. Right out in the field. It'll be nice, better lighting outside, but you know yeah. how that works. Yeah, like yeah. The are coming in too. So. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks for joining us, guys. So we have Matt on the, as I'm looking, on the left, on your right, and then Jim's on the, on our right, your left, right? Is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm Jim. Oh, this is my yep, son, yep, Matt. Yep. 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 Awesome. Awesome. So. Um, the camera. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Jim, when you were on with Kelly Joe and uh, Grizzly about, I think about a month ago, um, you had said that you, so correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just going to give you a little introduction. You were 10 years in the Air Force and thank you for your service. Thank you very much. Um, you ran a caving group in Tennessee and yeah, TennesseeCaves.com okay. for many years. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Um, and prospecting for gold, you were a fisherman, all kinds of, and, um, you know, pretty much all of your adult uh, professional and recreational life was spent outdoors. Does that sound yeah. about right? Yeah, my whole life's been uh, outdoors. Okay. Definitely. And what, what about you, Matt? Tell us about you, about your background. Well, uh, <laughs> me, I came out of school, didn't know where to go. I had two other brothers. They did their thing and uh i didn't like the direction they're going i figured just to stick on the farm mm -hmm. you know so here i am stuck on the farm loving it petting a chicken every now and then <laughs> that's great that's <laughs> great you're you um from what i got can gather and i mean you're pretty talented as far as uh you can channel and you have can communicate telepathically with with these beings is that correct yeah okay yes. great Great. So um, you had several encounters, many encounters. Um, and again, I want everybody to go back and listen to Kelly Joe's because it's just fascinating. It's, it's a month ago. Um, yeah. Fascinating information. Um, and then where that kind of left off, though, you started to talk about um, George, the, hu the giant, and he's a human giant. And he and people will find out helped you in this in this situation, in the last situation, was that about three years ago? Was that what? Was that right? Yeah, the well, that's what it's been a couple of years now. It's been a Kentucky. couple to a third, coming on to the third year, I think. Okay, it's been two or three years since uh, we didn't. I didn't know about his abilities as a kid or anything. He cut them off as a kid, and then uh, only in the last year or so did he start uh, showing us that he could talk to trees and stuff. So he's. He's like most psychics. It's uh, okay. you know not popular. It's uh, uh -huh. you know, there's a lot of, a lot of good folks on this show that you guys have on that are you know have have helped him kind of what do you call it come out of the closet psychic yeah 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 right yeah and and, and, and into his gifts yeah help him with his gifts because yeah so is this something that you always have kind of thought you had Matt or well that's uh, something I've always known I had uh -huh. um, it's like uh, you always have these visions and like uh, images coming into your head and you're always mm -hmm. seeing these things and kind of like seeing the ley line of the, um, the, uh, um, of travel areas, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, mm -hmm. there was a car that came through here many years ago where like a horse and buggy came through here. I could see that type of deal. Um, I've always saw these things. I just couldn't tell if it was just me being, you know, crazy or, uh, just uh, not seeing what I'm actually supposed to see or something like that. And I didn't know about what's the difference between spirit and uh, physical, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of like when I was in elementary school, it wasn't serving me to um, keep up with the abilities during that time mm -hmm. period because I'll be talking to a lot of people that are not uh, – connected in that way and they might be connected that way and uh, want to talk about it but we wasn't in the right place facility to talk about it because then we have people around us that starts talking around us saying that we're the crazy group or whatever it might be you know mm -hmm. so i just took out and uh kind of just ran my run um till a few years ago 
dad was kind of open up to hearing about things of the trees, things around us, and spiritual stuff. So, as he asked questions, I answered questions. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. That's amazing. I was hearing. And it's not that I hear it, I just see it. I see it come through. It's just images and okay. different mm -hmm. vibrations of lights, you know. Mm, that's that's fascinating. That's really um so George, uh tell us about George. And again, he's a human giant. And um what is what is he just tell me what you said told said about him. Like what's his purpose? He he is on a on a path right now. Um yeah, so tell he's us on, he's a he's solitude from all the other giants because he's trying to find himself and trying to find purpose within himself and how to be purposeful in this world, you know, mm -hmm. without like the religious way of doing things, but more of the spiritual, physical reality of things that are right in front of your face, how to be more in the present and to be in this world and for a good purpose, you know, may God use my hands for good works, that type of deal. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where he's at. And uh, he's traveled all over the place right now. He talk, He tells me every now and then. In the beginning, he's like, I'm not a partier, but after him traveling so many different places, he's like, well, maybe I am a little partier. <laughs> so I got to be going on a spirit walk. Yeah, so. Gi Gi Giants have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Giants have a lot of fun. They don't realize it. <laughs> and you said that he, he has a fan. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Go I'm ahead. Gonna I'm say, sorry. I was going to add to him. He had exiled himself, basically, uh, from his yeah. family. And... Uh, and uh, the time we was up Kentucky, the spirit led him to go over the ridge where we were being kind of harassed by other creatures. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came along and kind of helped us out. And we didn't know it was him until, like I said, he had opened up and started talking to Scott, uh, which is, we call him Scott. He's a, he's one of the, he's a younger, he's a 17 year old. He's raises uh, kids and stuff out in this area. He's but, a big uh, foot. He's a big foot. Yeah, big foot. Yep, Scott. yep. Yeah, we'll talk about yeah, him he, next. We yeah. started talking to Scott, and then it, it wasn't too long. He, he was able to connect to George, and uh, so that's how we found out who it was that night that had came down in Kentucky. He oh. jumped off. Of, we heard something jump off, or we heard some boom hit the ground. That was mm -hmm. him jumping off this cliff and coming down to us. And uh, so that's how he was told. Yeah, so that's how we got into. That's how we met, basically George and Scott. I guess you could say. Oh, he was following the spirit at the time, so as spirit led him, he came towards us, and uh, he came after the trees were shaking and stuff like that. And that's what got him to come over, was because the trees were shaking. So he came down, and uh, whenever he came down, afterwards, while we were laying there, here comes a woodpecker, and when that woodpecker was just balking crazy above our head he flew over to the spot where george stopped at and then as the woodpecker kept going away so did he and uh, that's how he was following the spirit that's what a confirmation i heard with them is the woodpecker was showing him there's nothing here for you now but uh there'll be correlations along the line so he just kept on walking away that's how he was walking with spirit yeah, he teaches. He teaches a lot about spirit. There's a uh, we have a cave over here where there's a uh, there's an underground lake, and uh, he was telling us about it. And he was telling us about the only way to get in there is there's these big boulders. He has to move out of the way to get in. Oh, and wow. me joking around. So well, I've got a friend of giants. So you you could help us out. Yeah. And uh, so we're joking around with him. But anyway, I did say, well, I'll find a way to climb underneath it. And he told us, well, if you follow spirit, and he, he does that a lot. It's, you know, it does try to teach you to follow spirit. Both oh. both uh, George and Scott are big about uh, learning God. how to follow spirit, how to follow your intuition, how to follow your inner guide, you know, whatever mm. you want to call it. Mm. So, you know, that's... Uh, following the omens? Yeah, that following, one, following, you know. following the signs, that kind of stuff. Basically, mm -hmm. trying, to, trying, to, trying to live by spirit, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. So it's important. It, that's, uh, they, they, like I said, that's one of the things that they really kind of... Uh, keep us aware of and, okay. and what's important family and uh, god yeah. <laughs> i think that's the two big ones yeah. the only two big ones. um yeah because you had said you had said that um that bigfoot now not all bigfoot but some believe in jesus and look upon him as as who we we you know as humans would christ followers what is that is that right 
Um, one thing I've heard for my own self, and it, it's even some of the part of the scriptures I've read too in the past, it said something. It, it was a uh, God Himself doesn't have a name, and uh, nor does Jesus. It's just you know, Jesus got they don't actually have a name, you okay. know. Um, mm -hmm. How can you put a name on a tree? Mm -hmm. you, know, you use the word saying tree, but Gosh. it doesn't describe how great this tree is, you mm -hmm. know? So there's no word that could describe the one, God, you know, however you want mm -hmm. to call it. So, but they do, they refer to Jesus in a lot of things. So Jesus it's has, the spirit that you bring out. Yeah, well, they, they understand. That, I guess that, that, yeah, they understand Jesus as far as uh, uh, healing. He taught them how to, uh, you know, they, they see, how to heal themselves. Okay. They, very fast healers. As most people, they, it, most people know anything about Bigfoot, they heal very fast. You might think they're dead and uh, they'll come back to life. But All anyways, right. Jesus had taught them how to heal themselves and how to heal others. And also uh, uh, taught them how to go through hell, uh, what we would consider hell. Mm -hmm. And it's like these places underground that they vacation in, but it's, uh, mm -hmm. You can't have no fear and because uh, you have fear the place will eat you up uh and so jesus taught them how to they they're they're kids by the what two weeks old like, yeah two weeks old by the time and older. two weeks old they're teaching them not to fear which of mm -hmm. course us humans probably do the opposite but anyway <laughs> yeah by the, by the time a kid by the time a bigfoot's two years old they're walking through hell wow but, but that, again that's stuff that uh, jesus is that type of that's the type of stuff they learned from jesus which is pretty okay. cool that is, that is. And yeah. and then, so you've learned this from Scott. Is that yeah, right? That was from Scott. Okay. And, and yeah. you had said that Scott is actually part of a, of, of a generation or generations that have been on your land. Is that right? That's right. It, wow. It, it, well, it's been on our land. It goes back where Cherokee blood and they used to put their his granddad, if I remember right, okay. used to put rabbits in my dad's rabbit traps. Oh, wow. That's great. And so the generation goes way back. Okay. And now Scott, now his dad is red, red hair, six toes, oh. brown hair, five toes. And I know that he's Scott, uh, 17 year old, loves his family, minds his own business. Yes. That's we the don't, one we thing don't, he preached too. Is yeah, mind your own business. Mind your own business take everybody care of your family. <laughs> So yeah, the family uh, and, and mom's uh, kind of, I don't know, they they had went down, they had went down to. We have a friend in Australia that she's a psychic, Chloe, uh, Chloe Ariel Sessions. Ariel Sessions. Anyway, she had messaged me one morning and said, "Hey, you're a Bigfoot. You got a Bigfoot mom, dad. This is a description, baby." I'm like, "Yeah." She goes, "Well, they're here." So they went down to Australia and uh, visited her and and. Uh, She's got, and now down that down there, she had a dragon friend and Faye, oh. and so the, her dragon friend and Faye actually came up here. It's neat how they, the Bigfoots and the Giants and the Faye, and they all come to. They're all just trying to work out their differences. Yeah, they're, they they've been judging each other a lot, like we have. We judge everything, mm -hmm. and so it's really neat. That's a that's the biggest thing Jesus taught us from them is don't judge. Because mm -hmm. I mean that's that's very very important. Yeah. Uh, as, uh, as times change and suppose I don't know it seems like the veil's coming down. A lot of us talk about that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Or there's a lot more encounters. Yes. People have a lot more encounters. So there's uh, there might be hidden for a time where you know we'll all be on the same plane. I guess mm -hmm. we'll be able to see each other. So you know, be good not to judge right now. Yeah. Yeah. Because judge judging leads right to fear, doesn't it? You know. Um, we had some questions. Um, uh, let's see if I can go back. Um, let me see. Catherine had said, um, Catherine asked, what part of K Kentucky are you in? And did you say, if not, you know, do you mind sharing what general no, area? No, we're, well, we're in, Knox, we're in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Our two, our two experiences were near Carnes, uh, Stearns, Kentucky. And then the big, that was where the giant and all that was. That's where we got in that mess. And then our Bigfoot experience, where we heard him running up and down the creek, that was down in Coker Creek, Tennessee, near Chattanooga. Oh, okay. So okay. that's the kind of range we cover. That's why we're, that's why I call ourselves Tennessee, Kentucky Bigfoot, is because we kind of cover those two areas. 
Right. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Jean um, Hudson had asked, what does Scott think of all the fires going on right now? And she's praying that, you know, that they're all safe. Yeah, Scott, uh, he, he says that, that they follow spirit. And uh, what he, he does with him and his family is uh, follow spirit. Take his job. He, he actually left from this area because we had some hunter approach or something like that that uh, been coming around more often. So he just got his family and moved on somewhere else. Okay. He seems like uh, he went more north from where we're at. Mm. So okay. uh, yeah, we, that's all they do. They just they feel the energy of the area. Uh, mm. To hear from Scott that uh, from fires he sees like a yellow tent light mm. on that mountain ridge where a fire might come soon. So okay. what he does is head on out. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, we, we have uh, we had uh, we had kind of like poacher problems going on right now. We we had to get on our ATVs the other morning, and we were all over this ridge, and we're uh, and so like you said, I, I had to apologize. I was apologizing to Scott. Yeah, he's had to move because he they usually yeah. raise their young ones over in this area. Oh, but I mean, we've got people that are coming in and, and are, are hunting mm -hmm. private land, and so you know that's been yeah. a hassle lately. And yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Let's see. Now that wasn't a question. That was just a comment. Um, so can you explain the difference between, th there is a difference between Sasquatch and Bigfoot, right? Yeah. See, a Sasquatch will eat a Bigfoot and a Bigfoot won't eat a Sasquatch. Okay. Um, that's the bottom line, but go to the beginning. You got okay. Bigfoot, Bigfoot's yeah. our hairy brother. Yeah, big for man. Yeah. Okay. So they're more heart. They're heart people. Um, whereas Sassy's, Sassy's, uh, Kath, Kath, I think was her name. She's she's been on the show. She got it mm -hmm. all right. She, mm -hmm. she has really. She, I, I love her. Great truth, <laughs> complete but, with me. But Sass, yeah. yeah, Sass, and plus we've talked to Scott, and so mm -hmm. we've got a lot of the same conversations. Yeah. But the mm -hmm. Sasses were. Uh, they were kind of created during Atlantis. Uh, they were a mixture of ET, and most of your sasses are curious. They don't stick to family. They don't stick to their own business. They will get into your business. Me and him got we got harassed by sasses before. We had them come in as two owls on two ranges, and they were hoo hoo. And as they got closer, they were blah 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 blah. blah. They were really loud and obnoxious. And by the time they got to us, I broke from my chair, and by the time I touched the truck door, they were coyotes. And that's oh sassy. my gosh! Sassy wow. Sasses are again though. The big message here is don't judge them because even the sasses are have been abused by the ETs. Uh, we know one that's got a blue belt, blue ball. Some of you guys might know a very I, few stories. About I want to hear more about that because I actually have one um, on our in my area that I have seen that, and I was when I saw you say, I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, there's only like three cases I've heard of, so it blew my mind. I'll have to send, yeah, I'll have to send you pictures. I just can't, I, when, I it blew my mind when you, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, so he's got, tell yeah, us about we, that. We watch uh, Midwest, uh, him, G, uh, James, Mid Midwest. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they've got one up there. And he's, now that sass has broke his tracker. So, he has to, he does leave, like go up to Canada and come back, but he's broke his tracker, but he's still, it's, it's a ball that they travel in. The SAS is technology that they travel in. Oh. They got that belt from the ETs and they have a ball. Oh. It's like a blue ball. And that's how they travel. It's really kind of technology travel. Wow. Whereas Bigfoots, they don't need that. But, oh. uh, um, but like I said, with the one that they have up there, you know, he's trying, if, if the ETs catch him, they will enslave him. They will put him, they've got, they're, they're, they run those uh, torture places. I mean, underground, they do a lot of stuff to humans and sassies and Bigfoots and all that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's, uh, most people wouldn't understand that belt and the blue ball because, but yeah, that's what that is. And that's on, that's Sasquatches. Like you said, that's the difference between Sasquatch and Bigfoot. The biggest difference is a Bigfoot when I eat a Sasquatch. Our, our, our Bigfoot's friends here. We've never had been harassed by Bigfoots. It's always been Sas Sasquatches that have harassed us. Okay. Yeah. I've right. seen a Bigfoot. It's right up here. It was shaking a tree up here. Oh, wow. And, uh, it was shaking the tree. It was not shaking. It, it was, was waving the tree. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah, across the moon. 
you know, there was a moon behind the big tree up there, and he was waving the tree back wow. and forth. Oh my and gosh! I saw him falling down the tree after like the third, fourth time I saw him waving it, wow. he just start falling down the tree, and he's big. He big. <laughs> now that was was that part of um, Scott's family or? or that was Scott. That was, that that was Scott. Was okay. That was oh, my that. confirmation that I know that I'm talking to him because I was That's talking to him. Cool. And, uh, gotta go out, walk up the chickens every night, and uh, make sure that they're all accounted for. And uh, I talked to him and see if I'm actually like seeing him. Is, is that him I'm really talking to? Mm -hmm. So I just I told him. If I was to see you, I want to see you in your prime and just loving life, mm -hmm. wherever that is, just from a good distance, and you're just oh, loving it. Perfect. And he was loving it. Wow, big, that's clean, great. Clean night. It was just nice, and I, I felt that. I was like, yeah, yeah. If I was wow. Scott, I'd be waving that tree too. It'd be like. Yeah, feeling good. living his best yeah. life. That's great. Um, we had a question. Um, how do you, how do you tell the Bigfoot and Sasquatch apart? Like, how can you know the average person or whatever? Is there a way to tell them apart? Uh, Sasquatches are more aggressive or more coming towards you type of deal. Okay. The Bigfoots, okay. they might look at you, mm -hmm. but they won't. They might be swaying. Mm -hmm. Um. And that's them looking for spirit guidance. Yeah, that's them trying to figure out should I go, go run, should I stay? Come, go, they're waiting for guidance. They're waiting for okay. guidance. That's the uh -huh. big foot. They're kind of like, I ain't sure if I waiting. should stay. Should I kill you or should I eat you or should I leave you? What are you? Oh, yeah. okay. What is worth it? You <laughs> know, what, you what is right, you know, for yeah. themselves, you know? Wow. If you fit, I don't know. Uh, the Sasquatches will be the ones. Uh, they'll come upon you, you know, mm -hmm. they'll, they're they'll, they'll throw rocks at you. Um, they, they try to bust some stuff towards you. They try to tear things up. Um, they make the weirdest noise. They try to like make some ruckus. Very rambunctious. Very oh, rambunctious. Okay. When they yeah. came up on us that night, I was done. I do not, no way, mm -hmm. no way. We've been gifting for, for quite a while. And that night when they came on us like that, uh, mm -hmm. I was mad. I was like, that's not, no, that ain't what we've been doing all this time. Mm -hmm. we've, been good. we've been giving you apples. We've been, we've been giving you food. We've, we've been trying to be good neighbors and you're going to come in on me like that. Mm -hmm. so I was really pissed off, but we found out from Scott, that wasn't a Bigfoot. That was sassy. That was a oh, sassy. Okay. And, right. sassy. and I remember our Bigfoot experience that was up there too. Yeah. We had two Bigfoots. I was on top of the ridge that we could tell they both talked to each other one said it was a kid and it was a it was kid and a, and and dad, yeah, a dad. And the kid said what do we do what should we do because he read and, that and the dad said just let them be yeah. mm, okay wow well, see, it's a bigfoot's attitude that's a bigfoot's right? attitude the difference between a big fit and a Sasquatch. That's a big difference. <laughs> right? <laughs> They're trying to teach their young, you know? And, well, the big and the Bigfoots are kind of like a zebra as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's not something... A lot of people go out and gift and, and do all these things and want to see one, but they really have their own family, and they really have their own... They really... They're, they're forest farmers, so they're taking care of their deer, they're taking care of their turkey, and they really don't really want to need anything from us. As far as man, even though a lot of I understand, there's a lot of people that want to, you know, help them, and I'm telling you, I don't. You know, we've realized they really don't. They really, we really can't give them anything. Can't, yeah. No, honestly, except for love, appreciation, and not to judge them, and to yes. let them to be neighbors. And I'm yeah. That's kind of that's where we're at. We're just like, you know. Have you um? We had a question. Have you have you seen them killing? Witnessed them killing each other? Uh. Who? The big I, they I guess is that what is that uh, Jimmy B Car paranormal cryptids biblical realm with Jimmy B have yeah. What uh, did she say? I'm sorry. Uh, it was it's paranormal cryptids biblical realm with Jimmy B. He's the one that had asked about um, if you've seen them uh, killing each other. 
Have we seen them killing each other? Yeah. No. No, but okay. they're, 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 they're different in man. I mean, if you think about it, if they came from Adam and if they are brothers, which in Esau, it talks about the hairy men. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, men are, you know, Bigfoots have done the same thing men have. That's, they're in a curse. They're trying mm-hmm. to break their sins. They're trying to break their judging. They're trying to break. So, you know, anything a man would do, a Bigfoot would do. Would okay. a man, would a Bigfoot kill? Sure, they will. Okay. Just like a man will. You yeah. Know, no difference. Right. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Yeah. Cause he's saying that they call them Bigfoot here in, in Eastern Kentucky, but, um, but there is a difference is what you, is what you are saying that Scott has told you. And, and I've, I've heard that we've Grizzly and I, we've heard that as well. Um, well Eastern Kentucky though. See, that's, we got the mob, we got mobbed by a mutant thing, by a oh. alien thing. They were, dee, 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 beep, beep, beep. Oh uh, yes. Mm-hmm. To Kentucky, that border. Very dangerous out there. A lot more than Bigfoot going on out there. We, like I said, yeah. the Bigfoots that we encountered passed us, mm-hmm. talked to each other, and kept going. Mm-hmm. But we've been harassed by. Uh, there's a lot more things in those Kentucky woods, and uh, it's not the Bigfoots that's the problem. I don't think. I think it's just uh, mean things. All I know, there's a lot of stuff up there. There's a lot of stuff up there. Um. ETs, you gotta watch out for the ETs. I yeah, keep, the ETs. I yeah. keep hearing from uh, between Scott and George. Watch out for the ETs. The Graves. The Graves. Mm, okay. Really and, and and that's again, you've got to give them a chance too because they're yes. a lot of the ETs are trying to break their curses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're, just like man is. They're built by God, just like we are. You know, originally we were built by God. We're all meant for good things, good intentions, and good ways of doing things it's just we have to find our purpose and get mm-hmm. back into our spirit and we'll start walking in it and recognize what's the physical realm around us and see what we see and know what we see and talk about it and uh things will open up better you know mm-hmm. for people to do what yeah right. that's that's the that's the goal that would be great if that could right if that could happen we can just pray about that um is there a physical way we're still got you know do do bigfoot and sasquatch look different um sasquatch is i mean sasquatch got the dang boot built you know (laughs) some of them you know some of them um that generational thing going on there actually um but sasquatch is and Bigfoots sometimes tend to look the same, but Bigfoots all look the same uh, by general category like humans do. You know, black hair, red hair, kind of look the same. Um, you know, you can all, tell all it's colors. Bigfoot. All colors. All colors, you know. Yeah, the babies mm-hmm. are all colors. Sasquatches, they'd be looking a little mutant-like. I mean, they might have like a dog head and, a, you know, the um, tail of a lion. You know, you don't know. Sasquatches, mm. they kind of looking mm. like mutants. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, they were mixed. They've been mixed, but ET did a little. ET the grays are the worst. They're the worst DNA splices there is. They're, mm-hmm. they're the ones that really make, make made a lot of uh, messed up a lot of true stuff. You know, the Bigfoot was true, and now we have Sassies, which are mixed. And the ETs have been bad about mixing DNA and mm-hmm. making making uh, these different types of creatures that are. And, and lot, they call it bastardized because they don't have a father. A lot of the Sassies okay. don't have fathers. That's what makes them aggressive. Yeah, yeah. And if you lock them up and the ETs do that, they'll keep them in, and they put them, I think they put, they have to put them in like a that cage. Oh, uh, oh feral cage? Feral cage, yeah. They have to put, they have to hold, they have to big, if they, if the government has to hold Bigfoots and Sasses in those things because I guess they could escape if they don't put them in a feral cage or whatever you want to call it. Oh, wow. Yeah, with the charge on it. You got to have it a charge or a, uh, I don't remember how it works. But, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, can you explain? Um. Oh, you know what? Though, let's go more into the the Sasquatch. I, you know, with the the blue. Is it actually like a belt? Or I'll tell you what I saw was I thought that it was. There's one area, um, that's the most like active area, um, and I can see it from my property, and um, I thought that they were holding like an orb or creating this orb and i kept seeing it in the same general area and it was like it's a blue ball and so is this something like can they pass the 
you know, the orb around or how, or, or the ball around? How, do, how does that work? Can you? Yes. Uh, that's uh, from what I'm hearing from you. That's actually more of a Bigfoot in like his 30s or 30s to near 40s. Okay. And uh, that was in his spirit time period of learning that ball. There's something interesting about that. Um, he's actually a Bigfoot. He uh, took a ball of light out of him. Somehow he formed the light out of his energy. Okay. And uh, he could do something with it. I don't know what it is, but I think it's like more of a collecting of information. A, uh, oh, okay. And a giving of something. I yeah, don't you, know guys, you guys practiced that one time on your show. You had everybody rub their hands. Oh, <laughs> oh the yeah. Heat together, feel the heat. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Yep. And, then, and I think that, that's tight, but but do, the sass have it like, now I'm, I'm like Barb. I've only I've heard it like three times, and three and three. There's so many Bigfoot encounter stories. You know, you could watch them for weeks and still not mm -hmm. watch them. Right, right. And then I've heard it like three times. I couldn't tell you where it was, but yeah. even the people were kind of like, I don't really want to say this because people are gonna oh. think I'm crazy. But it had a belt with a blue ball, and I'm like, what? Yeah, I yeah. It. So I'm like I'm like you. I, we've never seen one, you know. Whatever he can get from Scott or whatever, that's that would be the best we could do on that. But uh, uh, but what we've been told by Scott is it's some kind of technology, the one with the belt. That's the Sasquatch. The Sasquatch, yeah. Yeah, right. he got mixed with the ET, and they were able to put the ETs were able to take the Sasquatch's uh, spirit out of him, his energy spirit out of him, and put him onto a uh, belt. Like a Iron Man type of deal, okay. but oh. put on your belt instead, okay. and right. uh, that then he could send that light out, that ball of light from his belt. He could send that ball of light out, and uh, his body will be at rest in the area, and he's oh. able to travel without mm -hmm. having to use his physical body and oh. see everything that's around him and know how to get through certain areas. You know, it's like a tactic that wow. the Bigfoot. Or the Sasquatch travel use. that they can travel is that what you yeah yeah okay so wow about the body yeah I think I think a lot of them travel without the body it's just easier yeah um, nat naturally the Bigfoots could do that um, right. without having to use a belt yeah, use technology, technology right. yeah um, I mean, so that, big, that Bigfoot you got there that's a different one that is actually a Bigfoot that actually put his ball light in his hands. Yeah, she, uh, he, okay. He's reading now, so. Okay. Yeah, he's, uh, he worked with that, um, that Sasquatch with the blue belt before. Okay. Somehow in his periods of working, walking around, following the spirit, and he met up with that, um, Sasquatch. And he saw how that was kind of working, kind of feeling the energy of how he is and how the belt is. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, now he actually is learning how to, do it himself more in a physical way, I guess. Okay. Instead of um, astral plane, you know? Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. gotcha. Right. Um, is now um, Audacious Amber's asking, is that why people are seeing orbs in the forest? Or is there, would there be another reason also? Well, there's orbs. Don't be chasing orbs is why I'm here because orbs, mm -hmm. they're, they're varieties of different yeah. things that's, um, we, we used are to, out there. Uh, we know? used to study orbs. Like I said, I've been many, many interests in my life. Mm -hmm. And I studied orbs for years, many years ago, 10, 15 years ago. And we yeah. used to go to graveyards. And if you take two pictures, chink, chink, the first pictures are there, the second picture are gone. And so we used to go to different graveyards. And I could prove to anyone that this graveyard here has a green one. This mm -hmm. graveyard over here has a red one. And I could prove all this stuff because we used to document a lot. Like I said, that was a long time. That was before YouTube. And uh, But what happened was I realized one day I was standing at a grave and one of my kids had their hand up and said, uh, you know, come get a picture with me. And I realized, what are we doing? You can get in trouble doing that stuff because you're calling up things that you don't know. So that was, I was like, that's it. We're done. So we don't chase orbs no more, but we've got documentation of orbs. I should do videos on someday. 
Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we were, we got one is we call it Pikachu because it was it was like exploding. You know, oh exploding. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, we got. But like I said, I got folders. Back then it was pictures. You know, you didn't do video. Yeah. And, uh, but so the orbs, I'm like you. I don't. Uh, it's like you're chasing spirits at a certain point, but then you also have those actual physical orbs where you actually look across. And you see them floating around the tree lines and stuff. Um, those ones are different. Those ones are like uh, sometimes it's ET type of um, thing going on, and the other times it's a drone or a um, a, a, Sas- a Bigfoot Sasquatch. You can't really, I can't really put an idea of what that is because there's so many varieties mm-hmm. i see that and that's and that's the thing is with the ets there's tunnels and, and scott will tell you there's certain tunnels they don't go in because ets travel in mm-hmm. bigfoot okay. don't want anything to do with ets mm-hmm. because they'll they will take them captive mm-hmm. and experiment mm-hmm. on them and uh, wow. same thing with sasses you know most of your sasses i say a lot of them are being tracked they have trackers uh-huh. uh, i mean i know humans that have been tracked their whole entire lives that mm-hmm. just you know, I know one lady just recently got whatever it was out of her mouth. Um, she'll never come out in public because of mm-hmm. the harassment that they've done for her two year, for years, mm-hmm. you know, in her head and everything else. But uh, and a lot of that's ET government crossing mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jean had a comment or a question. Let's see. She said, where was that? Um Oh, Matt, is that blue light uh, like remote viewing? It's like it, but more in a uh, physical way of doing it. You know, it's more um, it's with more intentions, more intentional. Okay. It's uh, it's like you actually walking around mm-hmm. like there's a difference between walking around, but you can see people walking around. You know, it's mm-hmm. you can almost like touch somebody you know they can feel your coldness when you get near them type of deal um, okay that white light or blue light actually okay. that's blue light but still okay you had said that um that they can go into areas and i believe is it bigfoot that can do this they will go into an area like trees because they're neutral um yeah um like cedar trees yeah and, uh, white oak for some reason i keep hearing that they can go through the white oaks oh the way they, the way they go through the white oaks is like uh, through the roots type of deal oh my gosh and in through and out of the other white oak um so they can just travel around you if you got a bunch of white oaks around you they can just travel yes around you know i'm just getting chills here and i'll tell you why because oh my gosh so i have their cedars and there's, and there's white oak predominantly. We also have fir trees, but, um, I've had, I had a dream just the other night. And that was my second dream of Sasquatch, like climbing up out of the ground and I'm seeing them come out and I'm like, what is, what is this, what they're doing? Like, they're just coming out of the ground and that just, yeah. So I'm, what you're saying as far as, you know, them traveling through and I wonder, I mean, Maybe that's that. Maybe that is true. That's the my message. I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, um, they can come up through the ground looking like a spider. Oh wow! All through, all, two wow. both arms and their legs completely sprawled out. They come up wow. with their back and then they sprawl out to be most mm-hmm. hidden as possible. Hmm. Wow. Like a black shadow that just grew out of the ground. Uh huh. They could do that, but also their spirits have done that. You know, like a. the supposedly demonic forms and stuff like that. They could do that wherever you see, wherever you believe. Uh-huh. Um, there's that. But there's also the Bigfoots, too, that can physically do that. Um, yeah, Bigfoots that could do that. Okay. But what I'm seeing from your dream, actually, is a uh, the release of the uh, Sasquatches. Um, I think that might be coming soon. Um, like the government mm. people, they might be releasing mm. that. I I, see, I'm like, mm. I've told I've been told um that that's what is here is all Sasquatch that's what Kath thought and then some other some other another woman uh, had thought that they were all Sasquatch here I'm uh, I live in Washington State 
you know, in the Pacific Northwest. So, yeah. um, and there's, there's a pretty big clan and it's, um, it's, it's ironic that you're saying, you know, that they are, they are getting just more and more comfortable with just coming kind of, you know, coming onto the property and making glyphs and, um, and sitting in front of my home security cameras. And, um, but I respect their space where I know they're at. And so I, you know, I asked the same for, from them. And so, so far it's been, it's, it's worked out. So. Yeah, they don't seem like they're uh, the frazzled Sasquatches. They've been messed with before, but they're trying to come back to themselves from what I'm saying. And that's the point is right now for the uh, shit hits the pan. I guess they can say a lot of people are expecting something to go on. I believe they, they even agree right now is a good time to know your neighbors, kind of mm-hmm. have some kind of working relationship, at least mm-hmm. respect us and we'll respect you. So it's uh, kind of that time. Yeah, focus on, uh, like, uh, telling them, focus on telling them to mind their business, you know, like you mind your business. Mm-hmm. Make sure that's a solid platform that you all start off with. Because mm-hmm. okay. if they don't mind your their business mm-hmm. and you're getting into their business, it just – there could be like neighborhood fraud. Uh, what, yes. What, what do you call it? A feud. Feud. Neighborhood. Oh feud. yeah, feud. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I definitely don't want that. <laughs> want, right? yeah, a, a Sasquatch won't. A Sasquatch. A Bigfoot won't come into your house. A Sasquatch will if you open oh. those things up because they're curious. Oh. Yeah. They're, they're curious. young kids without the father stuff to do. But yours, your case seems like they do got fathers, but. They've been messed yeah, with, so they're fathers. still learning they, how they to. They tend to go back towards the heart, towards what's mm-hmm. natural and what's good. God, family, minding their simple. own business, and take care of their take care of their turkeys, take care of their deer. It's, it's, it's really yeah. simple. God's plan was really simple for everybody, and we're mm-hmm. all trying to get back to it. Obviously, you know what Scott says about minding your business. His business is his family. Yes. And that's one thing the giant told me, George. Uh, he said that he really liked about Scott, and that's why he sticks around with Scott, even though he's 17 years old. He's like this little young geeker stacker. Aww. He's 177 years old, so he's like, let's gotta you, love his heart. Well, let's, 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 we gotta tell you this. So we had got he got to talking to Scott, and uh, it was cool. We're learning so much from Scott about yeah. you know your heart, your family, what's important and uh, hell and all these other things that you know fear don't judge and all that great stuff and then george came along and we he connected to george and uh and then george and scott got to kind of talking and then george went down to we tell you went down to australia to see uh, uh chloe, chloe. well uh, scott uh, rode on his back on the way now oh my god the giants the giants have rights by god to swim across the pacific. no he had to ask for rights oh he had to ask yeah he had to ask god for rights to swim across the pacific Ocean. okay so anyway we don't know what that means but he had to do that but he had uh scott was on his back and now scott is huge yeah and scott, scott was on his back yeah scott is at least uh, <laughs> uh 17 foot i'm looking uh, but anyway 10, 10 foot 10 foot eight uh, 10. 10 more 13 13 13 so he was hanging on the back of uh george's back shoulder hanging on oh my gosh his head was like right there and his legs were dangling and he was just like so hold on and george it's got george told him hold on because they actually swam across the pacific now george normally walks around the ring of fire to go to australia but anyway he he swam across and and then was really neat. they went down there and they met et's that they they they, but before they they judged them as bad. But when they got down there, they realized they could actually get along with them. And then those ETs kind of taught them something. And the way this whole thing I'm seeing it works out is the DNA, the, uh, uh, what's that ladder? DNA string. Yeah, the ladder. The, uh, oh. Uh, chromosome. Or, no, that, that's as as everything starts working together, then I think it was Scott told us the other day, we are climbing the ladder. We're going together, but the, the outsides is us is knowledge, and that's how we're all going. We're all oh, the going left up. and right of your DNA strand is going up. Uh-huh. It's the uh, ladder. But we're so learning. You got the left and the right. But like that's I said, mom, father, they went the down. Human. They went down. And they talked to the ETs. The ETs taught George stuff. George taught the ET stuff. The ETs taught Scott stuff. Scotts. And then George, when they left down there, 
They went through Russia, and Scott was so excited he saw a Yeti. Scott never saw a Yeti. Scott's a Bigfoot. And, and Yetis so are Bigfoots, was, just a Yeti type. Yeah, big. Big, big, Bigfoot. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so yeah. Scott was all excited. He come back to Tennessee, and he's got his he's, – he's probably laying up there with his feet kicked up on a tree somewhere, and he's like, freaking Yetis, man, they're cool. That's so cool. He's like trying to tell his uh, other Bigfoot friends to tell him. Oh, uh, that's that's cute. He was see Bigfoot. He went to Australia. So, wow. but uh, George that's is a traveler. He's yeah. always. Last time we talked to it him, it doesn't take much for him to travel because he's so big. It it just a few feet away. But you can away. imagine since he's we can't really see him through the veil. Now this is speculation because I'm like you guys. We don't real. We we know as much as you guys do. Yeah, like how does how does someone they got talking around? I guess right now there's still like a veil, and they can fade or something. I guess I don't know how it works, but uh, they're definitely moving around. He had went to, we had talked to him the other day. A veil like ghosts. You can see ghosts supposedly, but you physically can't see ghosts. You know, it's the same type of veil. That's yeah, well they go in, they go in and out of the spirit world. They can go to the spirit world and back. That's Bigfoots. Okay. Bigfoots. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think you're right about um, that. Is there um, somebody had mentioned what's up with um, Dogman and, and and Bigfoot that have red eyes? Is there is there a, you know, is there yeah? What's up with Sasquatch? Sorry, and Dogman with red eyes. Well, let's, let's, let's first point at Dogman. Dogmen's are dogs, and uh, they're they, they yeah. be, if they're your friend, they're your friend. They'll take care of you, protect you. If they don't like you, I, I wouldn't. It's like any dog; they'll bite you. Okay. I mean, we had we had last last Thanksgiving. We're in Knoxville, Georgia, and we went down to LJ, Georgia, where my mom lives. And Scott says, "Hey, can we come along?" And we're like, "Okay." I thought it was really weird, but so he's going to—he runs from Knoxville down there, and I'm sure he left his body here. Because I mean, why would you carry a body along when you don't have to? Yeah, if you don't have anyway, to. He went into a dog man on the way there, and then him and that dog—and they love running with dog man because they're—they're fast. Yeah, and then they oh, enjoy it. Loves dog man because but, young ones love so, to run. Just on the case of dog man along, you know, you can't judge them. Don't judge mm-hmm. them. They're trying many. They're trying to break their. They're curses. very reliable. Okay. They're not. They're a dog. Yeah, they some got the dog dogmans are. Yeah, some dogmans are actually dogmans. They're not like. They're like a bigfoot type of deal. You know, they're not. They're not bastardized. You know, like a yeah. sasquatch. They actually have family. They have family. And, you know? uh, they they love. You know what I'm saying. And yeah, uh, right to the death. You know, they they love that much. But yes. the uh, red eyes. I don't. <laughs> we can I couldn't tell you. There's people like you said speculation that red eyes means they. Well, you know. Man or yeah, know. yeah. Red, red um, eyes, from I see, can just mean that the this area is not for you. Oh, okay. They to mm-hmm. move on forward somewhere. Gotcha. Um, you're not safe in this area, not because mm-hmm. of him, but maybe because of things around you. Okay. Uh, okay. Could be yeah. those type of scenarios. I see. Yeah. You know, many, times, many times, a bigfoot or a sasquatch will run you out of the woods, throw rocks at you because you're mm-hmm. too close to there. Too close yeah. to their home, or mm-hmm. um, you know, like there's several. Yeah. Ones. Or there, there's there's a there's a bad Bigfoot coming in. Mm-hmm. Bad, so bad man, or even a bad man that's in these woods. Yeah, <laughs> they're protecting like, you. Oh, here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right for your own. Um, and so um, somebody had asked. So a Sasquatch can have um, a, a, a snout and a tail. Is that you said? Because they have the mixed yeah, genes. Sure. Or whatever. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, and then do. Um, do they fight? Do they fight dogmen or or rakes? No, a lot of them are friends with dogmen. A lot of them are, are you know, and uh, the main issue they have in the woods is mainly the sasquatches and the mutants and the uh, new creatures that gets brought into the world. You know, mm-hmm. as in without the fathers. You mm-hmm. know, they're they're already got their own families going on and they travel around, but whenever a clan that didn't had a family and they're just rebellious. Uh, mm-hmm. Come into your tribe. It's kind of the same around as us. Yeah. You know? yeah, we've had trees that tell yeah. us about yeah. the things that broke their limbs. They had this one tree down here, and, and Matt asked me, "What was it that broke your limb?" And it was a. Uh, it didn't have no. It was a. It, it, the tree explained it as it really. It's a law. It was, it was, it was a lost, lost soul. It was lost really soul. a lost. Oh, oh my gosh! It doesn't, it doesn't have a mom or dad. Doesn't have family. Oh. Doesn't know love, and it was just destructive mm-hmm. because it's doesn't you know. It's mm-hmm. another one. I mean, we have many of those things going on. Of course, everyone, Bigfoot mm-hmm. always gets the rap for all this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'll blame Bigfoot forever. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm glad to hear. Um, is it true that uh, these cryptids can be possessed, that they're an empty vessel? Uh, empty vessel. Well, maybe the Sasquatch. Well, is no, John, the John, 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 three sixteen says, uh, oh. "He who, 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 whomever, so whomsoever." And so, you know, uh, you know, I've heard, the, the, I've heard, I've yeah, heard, I've heard that. That's controversial, but I'm like, according okay. to the verse, it's whomsoever. So I believe that, uh, uh, and I do know a guy that actually kind of, uh, what do you want to call it, preaches to us, Bigfoots, and actually, I think he saved some Bigfoots. Some people have come to Christ. Uh, so. Yeah. Fascinating, right? That's yeah. fascinating. That's yes. Really quite Definitely. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see there. I thought there was something I else. About that myself. But like I said, I, I, I do believe there. Esau in the Bible talks about the hairy man. You know, mm -hmm. it talks about why. So am I you think that that's. Okay. You, they, they that's the connection. Them. Okay. Um, now, uh, let's see. Christ Light and Love Center said, I've got confirmation Dog Man is a skinwalker. What do I do now? Well, for that dog man, okay, he's got one on his property, and uh, he's got yeah. something. So that's Devin. Yeah, I was trying to remember about Devin. Yeah. All right. Um, so he's got confirmation of the skinwalker. The skinwalker. It's still got to forgive him. You get to. Uh, still got to not judge him. Not mm -hmm. judge. Uh, it's like tripping. Don't go on a bad trip. Go on a good trip. Send love and light and forgiveness and tell them that God loves them and any evil spirit would not like that so they'll veer away from you. You know? If they want negative energy around themselves, they'll come after it. they'll come after those that are fearing. So you can't fear them or have them fear you. Just send them love and uh forgiveness and tell them send well, because them that I mean God if we don't them. I mean like 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 scriptures taught us we need to help we need to pray for our enemies. Those people that have been beat up, those people have been tortured, those people that have been punished, those people that have never had anything. And it's the same thing for, like you said, even skinwalkers. I mean, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I got to show love to a skinwalker. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I get it. Yeah. But, yeah. but, if, but if, if no one shows them love, then how will they ever know? How will they ever know love themselves? If they've never been loved themselves, then how can they ever love someone else? We know Devin. He's the one to do it, too. He'll uh, – he'll, 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 uh, He'll break uh, the curses. He'll break the curse. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> That's what Scott's down for. That's what the Giants down yeah, for. Yeah, they're, they're motivated us. I, I wouldn't want, I know one of them wouldn't come out and talk about this stuff, but George and Scott have told us so much. The only way to break a curse is to love. And they keep telling us give. back, you know, they keep pointing us back to spirit, back to spirit. What would Jesus do? Don't judge people. They, I got in trouble. I got, I got in trouble shooting at a bird the other day that was attacking our uh, chickens. And uh, oh. Scott shook his head. Matt saw him shake his head. And, I was like, what? and he's like, really? You just go after the gun? And I'm like, okay, okay. I'll think about it. Right. You know? It's so hard not to. Yes. You know? What would, what, what would Scott, what, how did he think you should handle it? Just. Well, it yelling. was about. Uh, oh, yeah. watch the travel of this bird, you know? Well, he said it could have been a spiritual guy that you just shot right. at you know I think about it and it was right we thought it was praying on our i could have gave him more time i gotta follow spirit more so i didn't yeah. follow the spirit like i should have mm -hmm. I, I reacted out of spirit i reacted without maybe maybe reflecting a little more i guess mm -hmm. you would say. but there is yeah. a thing about when a predator is on the pounce you have to be on your game because you'll lose your flock you know, mm -hmm. a predator mm -hmm. is going to try to kill you. They're going to kill you on the spot now. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like a hesitating thing. And when they're on the pounce, they're on the pounce. So you have to be ready. Mm -hmm. You know, be prepared for those that wants to uh, harm you because they'll harm you on the spot. You know, as in like the uh, chicken hawk flying to our chicken coop that one time. <laughs> you know, he was tearing them all up, trying to. And uh, luck guy came in there, look, um, good timing, and was able to got rid of him in a situation mm -hmm. you know okay. but you gotta um, watch the scenario play out sometimes okay. um grizzly did you see penny van said could you ask the boys what they think about my bigfoot experience i typed in here did you see that i don't know which i think i told you no, that she, was, she was in the woods when she was 13 and one walked by her about 20 feet away and didn't even look at her 
some reason I didn't hear that. He was saying oh. that she was 13, something walked by her. I guess it was Bigfoot. 20 feet away, didn't even look at her. It didn't even look at her? Yeah. Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot. Okay. Well, you, you can imagine they have a family, man, and, they, and they've got they got business. We ask Scott all the time, "What are what are you doing?" And he's, you know, you know, we try not to bother him, just like I would any of my other neighbors, human or not. Mm-hmm. You know, we've got business, mm-hmm. and they really do. Uh, Bigfoots are, you know, they have they like I said, if they got family and kids. You can imagine that they really don't focus on other things mm-hmm. yeah their business is their family and their kids yeah mm-hmm. and that's if the bigfoot's not bastardized but if bigfoot's bastardized as not having a father then i mean they they can, what business they can, do they really yeah. have well see like like right. for example janice carter had a bigfoot she had one named blackie and blackie mm-hmm. raped the girl yeah she's still from this near coker creek tennessee where we had that experience anyway her youth that the, the youth of blackie is actually being raised by Scott and some of his people. And it can take up, what they say, seven generations, up to seven generations to, seven to, generations. to breed out. Uh, they, they breed out curses. Mm-hmm. And if you have a child that does something like that, you know, you just have to breed it out through time, like I said, up to seven generations. And it's so the worst sin. And now Blackie, and Blackie's been through yeah. hell. And if Janice hears this, Blackie has definitely changed a lot. He's doing so much better. You know, and and you, we got to forgive him, even though he raped that girl. And he was young, though. He was dumb. Mm-hmm. And he did yeah. stupid things, you know? Right? Yeah. So, you know, how did they handle that justice? Like, with the, with the, how, how did they, um, you solitude. know, handle that? Yeah, okay. solitude. They will, okay. they will. They, mm-hmm. um, I think George had solitude himself. He had done something, you know? Okay. It wasn't and, that. He just did something. It was just, his family and his past and stuff like that. He just felt the weight, you know, of the mm-hmm. curses. So he just had to uh, stop, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from what I just heard is uh, his father just passed about four or five years ago. So that really mm-hmm. just got him to stop himself. Okay. So, um, yeah. Penny Van, um, this is the woman that was talking about. Uh, yeah, she said um, the, the one that saw the sass or the Bigfoot, he definitely walked like he was on a purposeful path, sauntered leisurely. I'm very sensitive to all living beings and I felt no ill will at all, but I was a bit put off that he didn't acknowledge me, but <laughs> you're saying he just yeah. like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like I said, you're walking down the street and somebody walks by and you got your kids with you. You're going to, yeah, you ain't going to pay no attention to people. Yep. She's going to I know walk. us humans, us humans do have that tendency to think. You know, yeah. Why come visit me? Why? And, and I got to you just look. Well, at I got I got a note here. It says zebra, and that's you know I wouldn't allow a zebra into my house. Mm-hmm. It's a different mm-hmm. species. A yes. zebra's a different species. A bigfoot's mm-hmm. a different species. I won't I won't invite George into my or George <laughs> definitely George ain't in my house. <laughs> <laughs> but house. Want, mm-hmm. Yeah, but see, yeah. Scott Scott doesn't want to be in my house. He doesn't yeah. want to have cookouts in the backyard with me. He doesn't want to. He's he's total. It's just like a zebra. Wow. They're totally different species. You know, they're, they're yeah. not, we're not, they, they do their thing totally different than us, you know? They're, yeah. You know, we're not really meant to even be, you know, I, I'm not meant to be, wow. but you know, you don't ride zebras, you know? Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know? Right. 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 We don't have yeah, zebra ranches. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this yeah. has been so great. Uh, Grizzly, do you have any, you know, parting words, questions? No, well, it's been I, great. Yeah. And I do, I do want to say that I definitely, I'm going to schedule you guys for another, um, for another show because the time has just flown by and, um, I have so, you know, I have so much more that I want to ask you about with, oh, there's yeah, so many we things. Have so much more we want to talk about. So yes, yes. Awesome. We're awesome. So we'll do that. Yeah. And George, and George and them have a lot to say. We even told them before the show, guys, we're going on live. If you got any questions, if you got anything you want to say. Okay. Awesome. Talk? Awesome. Yeah. So then, and yeah, we'll tell them <laughs> George and Scott, we're going to do another show. So be ready. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Guys. And thank you for your all's time. Yeah. And thank from you. Coast to coast around the world. We'll see you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye-bye. you. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.